hello and welcome to episode 27 of We Can Can We Not Knock It Football Manager Playthrough with me, Hooch. Um, I know at the end of the last episode I said um, we'd wait until people made their minds up and voted on what we were doing. I'm sorry I haven't done that. Um, there was an opportunity to record an episode or some of an episode. So I took it and I went away and I thought about it and I thought, well, even if if everybody comes back and says, no, stay, stay in Iceland, stay at Vidya, to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it. So I don't see the point in playing it if I'm not enjoying it. Same as you won't watch it if you're not enjoying it. So I decided to resign. Um... The press was stupid about it, asking daft questions about why it all went wrong. It didn't go wrong, is that enough? Anyway, I've been applying for jobs. We've only been out of work a month. And we had an offer in the Slovakian second division. Didn't fancy that. But we've been offered a job. And oh my God, I am so glad I resigned when I did. So, here it is. We've been approached by none other than fucking Dukla Prague. Now, that might not mean that much to you, but if you were my age and you was into indie music before it became a genre, when it just meant independent label in the 80s, there was a band called Half Man Half Biscuit, and they did a song called Dukla Prague Awake It. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. What a tune, what a band. Duke of Prague, awake it. Oh my God. They're going to pay us 2.7 grand a week. We've got a transfer budget of three quarters of a million pounds. Money, to, real money to spend on players. A wage budget of 42,000. And when I first got the offer, you know, I sat here and I, was, I kept looking and my brain would not register because we've been dealing with such shit amounts of money in this game. I kept sitting here thinking, how can you be giving me £750,000 to spend and only £425 a week on wages? I, that, for some reason, that K in my mind was registering as a five. Anyway, forty-two grand. we will keep the director in football in place. No problem with that. Develop players using the club, club's youth system. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Play attacking football. We do that anyway. Don't sign, sign players over the age of 30. We really rarely do. Under the age of 23, I always try to. Work in the wage budget, always try to. Minimum three-year contracts for team players, that's brilliant. I'd like to do that. Sign players to sell for a profit, I imagine we'll have to. Avoid a relegation battle, reach the fourth round minimum. Continue establishing as a first division team. OK, let's have a look at the club. Two and a half star, sweet. Three star youth facilities. Three star training facilities. Estimated value of two million pound, and finances are okay and not insecure. Can you believe it? The best formation to play is similar to the one that I like to play the most, but not exact. I prefer one holding, two midfielders, no attack. But if that's what we've got to play, I'll play that. Um, oh, look at the kit! Look at the kit! Look at the kit and look at the badge. I'm, I'm absolutely made up when we're at Dukla Prague because we're going to take the job. Um, let's see. Facilities. 13,000 all-seater stadium. Holy shit. Um, look at all the players. They've got players. Let's have a look at the last home fixture. 2,790 fans. We can do something about that. We can we can get bums on seats. We're in Prague. We might not be Sparta Prague, but we're in Prague. Where are we in the league? Tenth. Four, I don't know how many get relegated. Or oh, what are the rules? Hey, what goes on here? 
Oh, relegation groups, championship groups. Oh, so it's splits in half again. Okay. All right, we can live with that. Um, no more than four non-new players. Seven subs. 30 games a season. That's not too many again. We can live with that. We've got televised matches of VAR. Yeah, 50 grand parachute payment. Uh, minimum, minimum, minimum of four players trained at the club. Okay, we can live with all of that. We can live with all of that. We can live with all of that. Where do I sign? Two year contract. Thank you. We're now manager of Duke of Prague. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Duke of Prague have today confirmed, that confirmed the appointment of Kevin Hooch as the new club's manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the football world with the appointment of 30 foot. They might well have done because we're at Duke of Prague. Okay. Love it. Media prediction 14th. So I'm doing better anyway. I wonder where the manager's gone. He must have gone to another club. Oh, they say 4-4-2. I don't care. We'll have a look ourselves and we'll sort it out. Right. Yeah, schedule press conference and a meeting. But let's have a look round and then I'll do the press conference and the meeting. And then I'm going to have to go away, find the best team and we'll come back for these first three games once I've sorted the team out um, and learnt the players and we'll crack on at goddamn Duke of Prague I'm so excited okay finances let's look oh, what do we think first I'm hoping for 1.5 million in the bank. 691,000. Income, oh, still losing money. 150 grand a month. Projection. Projection is to make money. Okay. We've got. 12 no just under 10 grand to play with in wages we'll leave the players till last let's have a look at the staff we're allowed we haven't got any we've got me an assistant manager and a head of youth development we can have four coaches we can have four scouts Oh my God, let's get let's get some adverts placed right now. I want a coach. I want a goalkeeper's coach. I need a fitness coach. We want a chief data analyst. We want scouts. Uh, we want a head of sports science and a sports scientist. I don't really know what they do, but we want them. If we can have them, we'll have them. Right. Our assistant manager. Let's check him out. Richard Polak. He's better than us. <laughs> we'll take a bit of that. He looks all right to me. He can coach. I was, I was hoping to be able to judge players a bit better, but still, because I rely on them. The assistant, I lean on them a little bit. Okay. Right. Let's have a look at the scout that we do have. Our director of football, he can judge a player. A technical director, I don't know what he does. He does staff. Okay. A chief scout. Mm, I'd like a better chief scout 
and he's not a bad scout. But okay, well, we're not going to just kick him out. We'll wait till their contracts expire and then we'll replace people, stuff that we don't want. And then finally, no, we'll look at the dynamics. Oh, oh, we need a good start. They are not happy about me being manager. Now, oh, from what I can work out on that by watching other people play it on YouTube, is that's not a problem until you have a conversation with them or something goes a bit wrong and then they just fly off the handle. Okay, squad, here we go. Who's the best player? This midfielder, who is 16 years old. And he is a fucking beast. Oh, look at him. Aggression 19 is a fucking nutter. He's, he's mega brave. He works like a fucking Trojan. He can pass a ball, can he, as well? Yeah, not bad. He can tackle. Box to box, but on a ball winning midfielder. Oh my days, you get stuck in, lad. He's got some pace. All right, sorry, quick edit there. Uh, wife invasion. Um, let's crack on. So, we've got the next player. I'm going to go back to him again and have another look. That's not the best footballer we've ever worked with in the game. He's 16. A little jaded he can do with the rest. Okay. Wanted by Man City. I bet they fucking do and all. How long is he contracted to? He's got three years, mate. A hey, 95 grand. Show me the money, City. Hamadi. Moroccan. 26 years old. One point two thousand pounds a week, and look at his stats again: pace, agility, off the ball, dribbling, first touch, passing technique, inverted winger. Oh, please let me, let, please let me have one on the other side. Oh, I really enjoyed playing with the inverted wingers in uh, Israel. Stefan Nakanza. He's a German centre half. He looks pretty handy as well. Oh, I'm never going to keep this fella 16, man. He looks an absolute beast. Uh, he's a wing back. Can he play full back? Yeah, a little bit. He looks a pretty good player as well. 26 year old Italian. Another Italian here. Another midfielder. Deep line playmaker, yes please. And he's got some good stats as well. He's got none in the green, but he's got oh look at his physicals, the more yellow. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have a look at another couple more and then we'll call it a day and then I'll go around and work it out. So Daniel Fizzle. He is another centre off. He can head mark tackle positioning bob on jumping strength four main things he's pretty good at five main things he's pretty good at six even i learned to count counting that's a thing that is um and his mentals are pretty good as well has he got any, yeah, he's got pace that was this fellow wasn't it how long is he out for three to four weeks Nice haircut, mate. Sideshow Bob. Um, he is a defensive midfielder. I like it. Where were we? This fella. Striker. Aong. His physicals are good. He's got some pace. Oh, his finishing's a bit crap. But nonetheless, he don't look a bad little player. 
see the problem you've got is I'm looking at the quality of the players here and I'm like is there anything you'd bring from um, video is the wreck at Sigurd Johnson wouldn't even get in the B team here and he was an absolute darling another inverted winger on the other side thank you he looks quite good as well Lucas Koenig Argentinian how old was he 22 oh man he's an 18 year old that looks pretty tasty it could be really good another midfielder Ooh, wanted I want to buy someone on loan but look at his stats oh man we're gonna have some fun here okay right well I'm gonna go and have a look through this team properly and try and build a tactic I'll go through it afterwards but you don't want me to hear me all me thinking out loud and sometimes it takes me a while so I'll have a go and have a real good think about what tactic we're going to play because we haven't got the can't make any transfers the windows just shut till January I would, have, I would have thought so we're stuck with what we've got and then really the only problem we've got is managerial support very poor that's the only problem we've got really okay right then uh, I'll be back when I've sussed everything out in a bit oh well I've been to the team I've done it we'll go for the, to the tactic first so it's exactly the same tactic as we were playing in Israel um, four one two three uh, attacking wide short passing high tempo overlaps with the full backs work the ball into the box play for set pieces run at defense be more expressive um, and then if we've lost the ball we're going to counter press and when we've got it back we're going to counter attack we're going to distribute quickly to the keeper distribute to flanks is different i'm going to try and push him a bit further by throwing it long out to the flanks and we've got a much higher line of engagement we're going to try for a high defensive line see how we get on we're going to use tied to marking and we're going to prevent short goalkeeper distribution so exactly the same same corner routines so that's the tactic we're going to use um, i haven't added another one yet i'll do that I'll, I'll add another tactic in a bit probably a 442 if i have to um, i've been to the squad it was as we saw before it's not bad uh deficiencies well, let's go through the best players we saw the best players so the best players are we'll just quickly go through it again um, if i can get the right button so the best player is this evidently young 16 year old i mean what a player he looks like but he is knackered and needs a rest he's also wanted by manchester city no good uh this winger we're gonna play with inverted wingers same as we did in Israel uh, he's also tired um, I'm afraid one or two of these players are gonna have to sort themselves out a bit um, so he's a good player sorry let's have another look at him so he's a pretty good all-round inverted winger plenty of double figures across the board um, this ball playing center half is a bit special by lots of things we've got a ball playing center half people who knew German um we've got this right back here italian looks a good player so they're, they're the best players there so it's vitek hamadi Minkansa, zapella and gali now as far as goalkeeping goes uh this fellow is supposed to be slightly better but he's 19 years old so i've gone for there's not much in it i've actually picked he was on the transfer list this german fella i've took him off the transfer list and i've put him between the sticks just go for a little bit of experience to start with and then we'll bring that 19 year old into the squad a bit more as we go um striker wise uh aong is reportedly supposed to be the best his finishing's a bit shit um, but he's not done like a bad little player but obviously we haven't seen him play yet i actually like the look of this 19 year old levy 
with dribbling, finishing. His first touch is not so good. He's got good physical though. Um, I actually like the look of him a bit better. But first game, we're going to go with Aeon. We're going to go with experience. So who have we got? We're going to play three games now. We're going to play 6th place, 12th place and 16th. We're on TV in the first one. At home on the Monday. Um, we'll have a bit of that. We've just lost our last game 4 nil. So um, we've saw dynamics there in the shit. They still don't. They're, they're, they just hate me. So we'll come back just before kickoff. So we've got a few injury worries as well. And to say so, um, is a first choice centre half injured? Uh, he's out for three to four weeks, and one of the wingers is out for five to ten days. So we'll see how we get on. So and we've still got a couple of players here trying to get back to fitness. So let's crack on and get to where we start the game. Oh, here we go then. We have got, oh my God, look at the babs, look at the kit. We're Duke of Prague manager, can you believe it? We've got Milada Boleslav. They are six in the league. We are tenth. They have seven points more than us. Um, let's have a look at their form. It's pretty good. They've won four out of the last, three out of the last four. Um... Have a look at the team there's nothing we can pick no i think we'll stay with what we are because everybody else just come back from injury so i'm happy with what we picked before and at the start of the week um the goalkeeper's really not been playing very well we still need a load of coaches we still need a load of staff i've got adverts out there we'll start to look for that when people start applying for the job um again i'm not a believer in just going to the list and searching through all the coaches um you put an advert out and people apply that's how it works in football unless you already know them personally so that's what we're going to do it's really important to hit the ground running because of squad dynamics i haven't done the set piece takers Just quick pick them for now, except for throw ins, which I'll have to come back and do. Oh, here we go. So that is right back, right side, left back. Where's my left back? Left back, left side. Tell you what, why don't you just do as I ask? Who were the other two fullbacks? Let me do that quickly. Foglia, where are you at, mate? There you are. You do the right hand side, and the other left back is Past Pastore, the Italian. You can go on the left. Okay, so let's submit the team. Can't wait to see the stadium. Look at it, it looks amazing. Oh my god, this is like Man United compared to wherever else we've been. We've got some green across the board after the assistant straight away. We've had an effect on one player. We don't need that there anymore. I mean, there's no, our ground's too big for us. There's nobody there, but oh my God, look at the ground. And we're away. Right, let's learn the players. Hamadi. Fold straight away. Was that his name? It is Hamadi, yeah. Number 31 with the free kick. We don't know who that was. It looks like it was Kropik. Kropik. Okay, they've got the ball now. So let's see how we defend. Can we defend? And that was a bit too easy. Come on, lads. Oh, that's not a great start to your managerial career. In Prague. Like I say, we really need to hit the ground running because as soon as these players proper turn, the board will get jumpy and we'll be out the door. No, we're not going to encourage them to play direct passing. That's not how we play football. 
we play football where we're manager. I always find it tough taking over a team mid-season as well, like a pre-season. A bit like Mourinho in that respect. I think you can build a lot of confidence in pre-season. And that's, for me, I mean, I presume it's the same in this game, but that's what football's about, really, isn't it? Confidence. Oh, good save. Crop it now. Gavi. What's he got? Puts it out wide to Zappella. Zappella crosses it into nobody. It's a good ball to Gavi. Ayong. Hamadi. I've gone for this formation as well because there's only two strikers at the club three if I got a kid out of the reserves so it's a bit hard to go into a two man attack all the time and never having a substitute and because we've got such good wingers and we've got defensive midfielders the other thing I noticed going through the squad is there is a complete lack of centre midfielders Whoever was manager before, that, oh, God, nearly, nearly, that let this club get into a place where it had got three centre mids, one of being 16 and the other being 19. If you got fired, mate, no wonder you got fired. Had your set now with a corner for them. Well cleared. Hamadi now on the break. Striding forward down the right hand side. Can he find us? Ayong in the middle. He finds him. Ayong. Oh. Should have scored. We've got a corner. Should we try and go a little bit more positive? We've had quite a bit of the ball. One clear cut chance that we've spurned. Imagine now with the corner, corner just before half time. Oh, don't lose the ball there. Petro. Oh, you absolute clown. Who's that, the left back that is? Oh, have we got away with that? Oh, and that's not bothering him. First day, let's just turn a bit unlucky. Let's try and keep morale up, confidence up. Can't come straight in, start shouting after being 1 0 down after the first 45 minutes of being the manager. Can't wait for the transfer window to open. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, got away with it. Should have scored that, really. Okay, well, first impressions are, is we're a bit shit. I'm adding now. Corner. Black Andy. Who he is? Wide left, that's who he is. Crop it now, the centre mid. Blackandy, Kropik, Krunert, Gavi, Aeong, what a turn and finish from Aeong to get us back in the game, get in son. Kropik to Krunert, back to Kropik, puts it out to Gavi who is another centre mid, Krunert is the Defensive mid. It's 
keep looking at me spread cheeks. I'd obviously I don't know the players yet any more than you do. How'd you sit now with a corner from then? Not from a set piece, lads. Great save, Zetter. Zetter. Etcetera, etcetera. Aeong. Come on. Don't dawdle. You're a dickhead. Just said don't dawdle. Give the ball away. Good save. We might have to drop the defensive line, I think. It's a couple of times we've been caught out like that. You must remember to do it. In the main tactics screen, because for the next game, we'll come back a bit. Right, have we got any subs we can Oh, Gallo, Zappa, oh, it's going to be there. You know it's going to be there. Um, highlight, when you it starts up that end of the pitch like that, it's not going to be a highlight where it's like got the ball, cross goal. Oh, how have you got beat there, keeper? How, 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 how? All right, we've got Levy up front. Let's try that. Although the other guys will be playing well, but let's just try him, nonetheless. Nearly the goal. Um, the left midfielder is playing crap. The other left midfielder is injured. The, we have got a replacement for the right though, so we'll try him. He's on a yellow anyway. And we've got nothing in the centre of the park at all. Oh, we've got Chato though. Can he play there? Well, we'll come back. We'll have a look in a minute. Don't make a triple sub. Have a quick look where he's chat out. Not really. Right, come on, get back in it from a corner. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps not then. Oh, I didn't want to lose the first game while I took a draw. I can't really press demand more than turn on me straight away, probably. Really the pressure this job to go on through already compared to the other clubs have been at. There were nothing clubs expected nothing. But um these have got a little bit of expectation, a little bit. And like I say, the players they don't rate me. And we need to stop filling this stadium. Take a screenshot of this stadium in a sec. If we get another highlight. <laughs> oh, what a save. Yeah. Just so we can look back at it when it's filled to the rafters. Come on then, lads. Look like you want to get in it. Is that full time? Yeah, it is. Yeah, unlucky boys, unlucky boys. We've got some work to do on the training pitch, that's for sure. Copic out with a bruised ankle. Aeong on form. Right, let's praise him. 
Okay, right, well, I'll do a press conference and we'll come back for the next game. Right, we're uh, back then for the next game, which is away against Sigma Olamanok. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to play or see in their famous yellow Dukla Prague, Prague away kit yet. Um, these are 11th, their media prediction is 10th, and they are on a pretty bad run of form, except for that cup win, which was only four days ago. Um, we're obviously out of the cup then. So let's go to team selection. Well, let's get this old spreadsheet back up. Everybody's fit, no problem, that we played. We still haven't got Fizzle. Uh, the other player that was Conig, or is it not? It was, yes, it was wide left. He is fitter. The Argentinian. I think we'll just put him on the bench for now. Uh, Sokup is a prospect. Choppy car is. A wide right, okay. So we don't need all of them, so we'll take the prospect off. The bench, Levy, yes, no problem. I wish we had a centre mid. Um, Vitek is not so tired as he was, so he's going to have to at least come on the bench. Gonna have to uh, praise. Oh, that's because I'd praise his training. His training was particularly good. Uh, and Bianca, Biancadi has reacted well to me telling that his training is a bag of shit and he needs to get his arse in gear. I've got no problem in telling players if they're not training well, you've got like an average, you've got like a rating of 4.5 for the week. So he got a proper bollocking for not having that. Right, uh, we're gonna stay balanced. We, we did say we were going to. Drop the defensive line back a bit. Good, good. Remembered. Uh, so let's crack on with the game. Yes, we know some people aren't fit. We need a fitness coach. We've got nowhere with the staff yet. No one's applied. That'll probably happen this week, I would have thought. Um, looking forward to trying to get a result in this game then. We need to get some positive results from somewhere. Aeong now. Uh, moving the ball well. Gary, Amadi. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Pinging it. Oof, Aeong nearly there, there. That's it, lads. That's football. Um, can we can we risk a demand more? I'm going to go for it. Yeah, there we go. Not listening to me. Look. Oh well. Done it now, at least we know. Aeong now, can he? Oh, that's a great pullback for Amadi. Oh, I thought that was going to curl in. What's the free kick for? Can't wait to get me staffing, can't wait to start scouting, can't wait to start looking to next season. Because if these players aren't interested or arsey, we'll just replace them. Right, it's not about half away from home. Let's, let's tell them that we're pleased with that. Try and get them arrows pointing up the morale.
Oh, come on, then, no matter. Oh, he's through. Great finish. Get in, lad. Oh, we like him. Pace, he come through that then. Tries to foul him. Keeps his balance. Slams it on his left. Get in, lad. Let's try and get creative, see what happens when you shout that at him. See if that also makes him pressured. I only earn £1,200 a week, don't pressure me. It's a good header, I'm Eddie. Not much of a ball. Young Blank D trying to get through to Galley. Oh, he nearly got in at the far corner in the far post. A young now. Oh, it was well defended. Right, let's try the Argentinian fella. Oh, that was too easy. Away, well done. Closing down, closing down. That's a good header. Oof. Bet if he'd have headed it out, but it's still got some on it nonetheless. Uh, we got a, a little bit of inspiration from the old get creative. Right, let's make another sub, shall we? Let's see how we go from it. Okay, we'll do it from the tactic screen because we're going to take off the striker, bring on this levy, but he likes to play as an advance forward. We'll see how that works out for us. Imagine that with the corner. Koenig. Convert. Comes to nothing. Levy now. Sapella, full back, penalty, get in. I'm ready now. Oh, he's only fucking gone and saved it. Saved it. I'm adding now. Can you get over that penalty miss? Under pressure at the back. Under pressure still. They work it well. Koenig. I'm adding. Great ball into Levy. Can he finish? Nearly. Done, yeah. Oh, it's ping ponging everywhere. Levy now. Just hold the ball up, lad. Conic. Can he? Oh, keeper tips it round the post. I didn't quite see who it was. I think it was Conic. I'm 
had his little corner. He's already said he wants to come off because he's knackered. Well, oof, I think I have got a left winger on the bench. Oh, he's right winger anyway. So we have, yeah, we've got this fella. What's he called? Choppy Kia, Choppasia, Chopsia. And that's all three substitutes made. Just go cautious at the end. Away, keeper, whichever, not bothered. Well claimed. Art oh, was in my mouth. Oh, well knocked down. Come on then, Libby. Take it in the corner. Oh, he's done his man. To the fullback. That's it. Zappella. Over. Got to be a goal. Colleague. It stands. The ref, the Lonson's flag's down. Get in. 2 0. What an away win. We'll take that. Well done, lads. Completely unmarked at the back stick. And that's the end of the match. Come on. Well done, lads. Good win. All right, I'll do the press conference then. We'll come back for the last game of the episode. All right, here we are then. Back for the last game that we're going to play this episode. We are favourites to beat Slovakko, who are 13th. Um, let's have a look at their form. It's just picked up, but it was fucking dog shit beforehand. Um, things that you've missed, uh, dynamics are no better. Although, whereas before, every single player was opposed. Some of them are not. I'll take that, that's a win. Um, anything else? Yeah, there was. Uh, we've got some staff, got some coaches now, got some scouts, but nothing, nothing mind blowing. Uh, so I'm having to re scout. Uh, let me just do this. I'll have to just go through. Blimey. These are recommendations from staff that are employed. I'll have a look at them in my own time. I am now re-scouting my shortlist because we've lost all the ratings and they're probably not good enough now for the division, for the football we're playing. But you've got to have a look so I can remove them. Um, I'm also scouting Hilnerson from um, Vidya, see if... It, he can cut the mustard. I don't think he will, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go scout report on him. Only other thing you've missed is Conte. Antonio Conte is the Man City manager. And he has been in the press telling everybody how oh, he's going to sign Vitek. And I've said, they'll ask me in the press what I think. And I've said he can suck my dingus. Is what I said. Alright. I didn't actually put that, but I said you got no bloody chance. Not for sale. I mean he is for sale, but he's not for sale for hundred and fifteen grand. So I'm thinking about playing him today if I'm honest with you. I think we're gonna drop Kropik. Oh no, I can't do he's been playing really well. Um can Kropik play anything else other than defend? 
see that's the problem now I'm going to have to put a ball winning midfielder in there when I want the attacking so we'll leave him on the bench he needs minutes according to the coaches but he can stay on the bench for now and I think Fizzle is nearly fit so he can come on the bench there view to trying to get him back in the side as soon as possible and with that we will go positive because we're favorites don't press insta result and we'll crack on the players have been moaning about the quality of training that was probably because we had no coaches now we have Can't really get the players listening to us yet, but we'll get there, we'll get there. And then we've got three quarters of a million to spend. Don't really want to spend it. I like my free transfers, I do. Now Petro, what can he do? Back to Kropik. Galley picks up the ball. Out to Zappella. Assist last game. Can he get another one? Crosses it in. And Koenig's there again at the back stick. Lucas 2-2. Two two for the Argentinian left inside forward. Inverted winger rather. Gets us off to a great start in front of the home fans. Although that is the away stand there. But nonetheless... Points his chest, says that was me. Runs in front of all the away fans. Top shithousery. Get in there, lad. We're getting some fans in this stadium now. Oh, that was a poor ball. Right, free kick now, Kropik. What can he do? Kropik. Oof. Oh, how did that not go in? Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. It was a great header. He couldn't just squeeze it in at the far post. Climb by the keeper. Oh, oh, Pulis. Oh, it's, oh, it's a Tony Pulis wet dream then. Lump down the pitch. One bounce shot. Lovely out to Zappella. Koenig again. I'm not going to score with your head from there, mate. Amadi. That's a good ball. Zappella. Amadi. Kronit. Or Kronit. Kronig. Oh. Getting all the players' names wrong. I'm doing a Bobby Robson. Kropik, Koenig. I don't know how you say that, but that O with the two things on there. Typical Englander. Right, 
do foreign languages. I'll have a look into it though, see if we can get it right. Right, I think we've done all right there. I think we've done more than all right. How are we doing fitness wise? Okay. Of highlights. They had most of the ball. No, Amadi's not had the best game. So you're the first one to get hooked. assistant manager loves and wants to play direct all the time. Hey, that's not how I play football. Oh, good save. The first one was an advert around the side. I think, you know, if you click on the advertising hoardings around the side of the pitch, it actually takes you to the website. Which is pretty cool, because obviously it's never stuff, I don't think, in the SO games that make money. It's things like mental health and uh, war child and stuff. Petro now to crow pick Petro again, crow pick again, and playing amongst themselves. Here we go. Right, let's make us another sub. We are going to bring the young kid on. Vitek for his for our first look. We'll bring him on for Gary. What can he can play ball with him in field? Eh? He can play ball. Oh, he can play ball with him in field of support. That'll do. Oh, we've got a penalty. We didn't even see it. Oh well, well we've got one. Should have paused the game. Ayong with the penalty this time. He makes no mistake. I wonder what we got that for. Oh well. No mistake with that at all. But we'll take it. That puts us two up. Huff. Panic. Chop see up. Petro now. Crow peak. The fullback's carrying a bit of a knock. Oh, that's too easy. Straight to the middle. The two centre halves part like the Red Sea. In fact, that's what we'll do next, but we'll. Pause it first, then we'll go to the tactics, and then we'll take which is first choice centre half. Okay, so this one, Vuk Selek, he comes off. Let's try and get some minutes into Fizzle because he's a, but supposedly a better player. Oh, 
a whole well dispossessed Koenig. Oh, it still gets through to Aeong, even though he got tackled. Chops here. Zapella. Oh, that was a great touch. Aeong. Oh, how did that not go in? Oh, what a magnificent stadium. Oh, lads, come on. That's too easy. That was too easy. Now, you, now you've made it nerve in 10 minutes now, look. direct time wasting cautious we take now with the free kick oh has he kept that out what a save from the Argentinian again Koenig Oh, I really should have done the thing with the corners. I think I found out how to do it, and I can actually just swap the corner bits out. I think I'm going to build another tactic for hanging on with different corners. Oof, I thought that was going to go in then. That's what I'll do while I'm away. Go on, Aeon. Oh, what a great knockback. I've got a lot of work to do, actually, between games. Um, scouting while he's ready for the transfer window, and I'll sort the extra tactics out. I need to look at the youth. get the youth set up sorted because I'm gonna the plan is the plan is just to stay here for if we don't get sacked uh, three full seasons after this season that's my plan see how far we can take these seem a fairly big club before we look to move again Depends on fan base as well, really. Like, if we're doing really well, getting that's great win, and we're starting to get bums on seats, then there's no reason to go anywhere at the minute. So that's took us up to eighth. Well done, lads. Let's try and win them over. All right. Well. Let's just look at dynamics again. Still very poor. <gasps> Sapella. Hey, you was always my favourite from the minute I got to the ground. Well done, lad. We like it. Oh, the dressing room atmosphere is very good, though. So we can't we can't argue with that. Right. Well, let's look at the schedule. Um, I don't think we need to come back until, well really, there's not much happening this season, we could come back right at the end, but we won't, we won't, we'll, we'll come back for these three here then, for the first three games in March, and then we'll come back for the last three of the season, we'll do that, because then we'll have had a a window and stuff. Oh, just notice we've got two months off. Or is it just one month off? Oh, and December off. 
We've got one game in December on the 14th. Nothing in January. Oh yeah, I see. Whole of January off. Ooh. Okay, well I'll play the games and we'll come back when there's actually some football in March then. And then we'll take it from there. So that's the end of the episode. Fuck knows what number it is. I can't remember. Hang on. Beyond me, beyond me schedule. 27. Um, so thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Until next time. Try it.